Welcome, welcome comrades to the EcoTap Freedom Shelter Sit Shelter Configuration Part 3. Glad to have you guys back and hope you guys are doing great amongst all this craziness that's going on in the world right now. But it's South Shoe and Pass. So, but I'm not going to get into that stuff. So, guys, I'm glad to have you back. And of course, I'm doing this series right now, the EcoTap Freedom Shelter series, and I'm enjoying these videos. I hope I'm enjoying them as much as you guys are, so I don't want to bore you guys. I try to mix stuff up, but right now, you know, the way everything's going, this is this is just kind of what I'm doing right now. So, anyways, hope you guys are doing great, and um, we are going to do the sit shelter configuration of this video. Let me give you guys a little glance at the uh, instructions for the sit shelter real fast. Okay, so we looked at the instructions, so now all we gotta do is just try it out. And uh, this is a pretty cool uh, setup, I think. It's basically just gonna be like basically having a tarp over you. <laughs> but um, we'll, we'll find out how uh, practical it is and the functionality of it. Um, also, I'm not gonna go too much detail how to set this up when we first start. What I will tell you guys to do, and I'm just to save on video time and stuff, go back and watch a short coat video and look at the initial setup and how I did that. And you'll see how I start with this. It's the same setup. The way I start, the way I set the short coat, is the same setup as how I set the sit shelter up. So it's it's just just go back and watch it. It's not too long, I don't think. But uh, all right, guys. So let's get uh let's try this thing out. All right, here we go. All right, comrades. So it's just like the short coat. We're gonna step into it like it's trousers. And if you haven't watched the short coat video, I encourage you to go watch that so you can get. So you, can, so you will know how I got to this point. So we're going to step in it like trousers. Okay. And then we got the, the poncho hood here. And we're going to grab that. We're going to lift it up. And then we're going to put it on. Put the hood over our head. Now we're going to sit down. Okay, comrades. So, now that we're in the sit shelter sitting, what are we going to do next? Well, you could shelter out of the snow. You could shelter out of the rain. A hurricane, tornado. No, not those two. I'm just kidding. But, yeah, you get the point. Or, if you're on a recon mission, you could blend in with the, with the uh, surrounding areas that you're in. And, uh, but what we're going to do is we're going to change clothes in it. Yes, I did. I said we are going to change. Well, I'm going to change clothes. And uh, we're going to put this outfit on. Oh, yeah. One shot, one kill. In the instruction manual, it says that the sit shelter is, or it says in the sit shelter, it can be used to change your clothes in snow or rain. Alright guys, so now that you've seen the instructions, there's only one thing left to do, is to change my clothes. So let's see the functionality of this and see how practical and realistic it would work. Obviously it's not raining or snowing, but we're going to see how easy it is for me to change clothes in a sit shelter. So let's get on with it. Alright comrades, here we go. Enjoy the show. <laughs> I think I'll start my shirt first. Okay. I 
Okay, my belt and we should be good guys. Ah. Here they are. All right, comrades, so there we go. All right, comrades. So that literally took me five minutes and 50 seconds to put my, to take my boots off and put them on, take my pants off and put new pants on, and take my shirt off and put my new shirt on. And then I got up and I turned the camera off and I needed to raise my tripod so you could see me standing up because I had to put my belt on. So that took an extra minute and a half. So, you know, roughly almost seven minutes it took to change clothes in this setup. So now, we know it works pretty good. It wasn't too bad. So now all we got left to do is pull the inside up from the bottom hems. And now we're going to turn this bad boy into the short coat because this short coat is made for walking. Yeah. This short coat was made for walk. Oh yeah. And again. Let's just do it again guys. Oh yeah. It was made for walking. This short coat was made for walking. Yes it was. You know it was guys. Okay I'm done. Alright comrades. So I hope you enjoyed that. Um, it's always enjoyable enjoyable to watch me, I hope. <laughs> um, yeah, that was interesting. I will tell you that much. Um, you can definitely change in the thing. There's quite a bit of room. It's just, it's, it's just basically having a tarp over yourself is what it is. And um, But as you saw, I had a plastic lay down because our ground's a little wet. It was raining this morning. And we got rain coming in here pretty soon, too. And, uh, yeah, so I, I got a little dirty. Not too bad. And... Um, yeah, a smart soldier would carry a plastic uh, sheet with them for ground for ground cloth. So that is practical. That's using my brain. So I'm still bushcrafting. I'm still doing survival, but I would I always carry plastic with me. So, anyways, so I hope you guys enjoy that video, and that is the conclusion of the sit shelter. Now maybe sometime I'll do some I'll do the sit shelter in a, a rainstorm or something like that. 
but I still need to get me something for my camera to protect it on the outside so the rain doesn't hit you guys. So uh, yeah, but uh, we'll see. So hope you guys enjoy these videos and um, yeah, so be on the lookout for the next video guys and uh, hope you guys are all doing well. And if you like my channel, hit the subscribe button and all around the screen will be other videos you can watch, like, share, and subscribe. Alright guys, God bless you and I will see you guys in the next video. Take care.